going since 1989. And um, back in the day, there was a lot of fanzines around. I had a look at them, and the West End ones was all right, but I thought I could do better. I had it about 10 minutes on the street, sold it out. The first, you know, in about 10 minutes, I thought, blimey, I'll have some of this. And it gave me a chance to get my stuff out there. And by about number two or three, I was getting like, like flooded with faxes because there was no internet back then. I'm a dinosaur. There was no emails or anything. The internet didn't exist. So I was getting loads of faxes coming and loads of articles coming. And here we are, 26 yeah, years later, today. on issue 600 and something, you know, and it's just, it's just gone on and on and on, took over my life. And what did you think when you found that West Ham would be leaving Upton Park? Were you disappointed? Mortified. Mortified. I'm not going, I'm packing up, packing the fans in up, packing up going. I haven't missed a home game since 1980. That's a lot of home games, you know what I mean? It's a lot of home games, it's a lot of years. I missed a lot of birthdays, weddings, christening, Park. you know, you name it, I've missed it because of coming here. When the internet came out, all published magazines, no matter what they was, newspapers, magazines, period, everything took a kick in the nuts. Because, he, you know, you, instantly it was on the internet. But we always said, like, you know, what if you want to go to loo? You want something to read? You want to sit there and read something? No. They brought out smartphones and iPads and things like that. So that was the second kick in the nuts. So any magazine like mine now that's still going, it's a dinosaur now, you know, people, people can... You know, they wait a week for my comments to come out, but they can read someone else's comments within two seconds, like on Twitter and all this sort of business. I, you know, I don't want to compete with that anymore. I'm getting old. I don't want to stand out in the cold and the rain anymore doing this. You know, I, I, I've loved every second of it. It's been a journey. You know, it's been an absolute journey. I've interviewed every top player in the world. It's, you know, anyone that's been over here and, and away games, I've interviewed all the, all the best players in the world, managers, celebrities. I've had a phenomenal career.